I haven't cleaned up my Fungal Pop collection in a while. There's just so many random excess Fungal Pops I have everywhere that I don't have a proper space for. There's a ton of dust everywhere, and I'm just not happy with the way my collection looks right now. So today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys with me as I clean up my Fungal Pop collection. First off, we have all these inbox pops right here that I've gone from random mystery boxes recently. And if you were wondering where I got these mystery box pops from, they're all from K-Dog and Fish from different mystery boxes that I've bought in the past month. And if you're still wondering why I own some of these still, even though I gave them away to my friend Ryan in a past video, it's because he didn't want them. He doesn't collect pops, so he just gave them back to me within like a week. So yeah, all these pops gotta go somewhere. It doesn't matter where. If some of them are gonna end up in a random bin just because I don't know them, like Chachi or uh, Bo-Katan Cries, I'm probably gonna sell them in a few months. As for some of the anime ones, those are gonna go up here with my other anime pops in this section right here. I think I'm gonna get rid of that Deku right there and put a few there and also get rid of a few pops in the end there and move them up probably. They're gonna go up there where those inbox pops are right now i'm gonna take those inbox pops out i'm not very happy with the way that looks right now and then as for these two new rick and morty pops that i got from my collection i'm gonna have to find a new space for them because normally i keep all my rick and morty pops up here but there is no more space on this shelf at all so i'm gonna have to figure out where to put these two right here probably gonna go behind all of these pops i'm gonna take some pops out i don't know i'm gonna figure it out after but yeah let's get to business i gotta move some of these pops out all right first step done i moved those four pops that i had up there down here and then i got rid of everything on this middle shelf right here so that way i can organize it better i have all my pops and stuff right here i have it pretty well organized according to their categories but now i think this shelf is officially going to be the anime shelf there's a little bit of space left i'm going to put like a few random pops but most of it's going to be anime pops i'm not sure how i'm going to organize it just yet but i think i'm going to do random then one piece then my hero then hunter hunter then dragon ball or maybe have random last and move everything down i'm not sure i'll figure it out in just a second but uh, yeah let's get started And that's that right there. I have all the pops organized into the specific orders that I wanted them to be in. So I'm pretty happy with that. At the end here, I just have a few random pops like Rugrat, Street Fighter, Post Malone, Ed Sheeran, and Michael Jordan that I can just get rid of if I ever do get more anime pops. And uh, yeah, now all I have left to do is put the pops on the shelf. So let's go do that. And here's the finished look right here. So up to the One Piece part, it's all anime pops down there. And then there's a few random ones right here. Like I said before, these are technically just there just so I can make space for more anime pops when I get them. Just in case if I do get more anime pops, I can just take one of these pops out and then make more space for uh, whatever anime pop I got. Pretty happy with the way this looks. I took a few pops out of their boxes just to get this look right here. Like for example, I took that bait exclusive Michael Jordan out of the box. I wasn't going to keep that one out, but I ended up keeping it out just because uh, it looks good with the other Michael Jordan that I have there. And then down over here, let me walk all the way to it. I also took this Fire Lord Ozai out of the box because I had it in my closet for a very long time just because I don't watch Avatar and I don't know much about it. But I did have the Zuko out on the display, so I thought it would look best if I did, like put these two next to each other. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, here are the random ones on the end over here. Then we got My Hero. Then we got Naruto, Hunter x Hunter, Dragon Ball, One Piece, and those other random ones I was talking about earlier. But yeah, that looks awesome. Over here, I also added these six pops right here. These are the six pops I had over here. I just put them up here and got rid of the inbox pops right here because I thought it looked weird having a few inbox pops with a bunch of out-of-box pops. So now it actually looks pretty good having all these out-of-box pops up here. The only thing is, I'm pretty sure I only had enough space for these four right here. I added these two and they're kind of like slipping off the edge a little bit. As you can see here, there's a lot of space on the edge right here. Um, so I just put these two boxes right here because I didn't want to put them away or anything. I like these two pops. So it's just, it's just creeping over the edge a little bit. It's going to bother me. I, I know it is, but for now it's okay. doesn't really fit the theme of anything else on the shelf, like which is Marvel, Fortnite, video games, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna maybe keep this here for a long time, but for now I'm pretty happy with it. Now I got these two Rick and Morty pops that I gotta make space for. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, is I actually have a few Rick and Morty pops down over here next to uh, my all of my inbox pops over here. I keep a few Rick and Morty pops just over here just because there's not enough space for them up there with all those pops. So I keep them down here and I figured it would be best to keep these two pops right here in box, especially this signed one because the signature is just so awesome and cool to see. Why would I take it out of the box? It makes no sense. So I'm gonna take these two pops and put them next to these inbox Rick and Morty pops. But the issue is I don't have enough space in the shelf so I'm gonna have to get rid of two pops and uh, make space for these two. Or you know, I, I could just buy a new shelf. And then as for these bunch right here, I'm not very sure where I'm gonna put these. I know that Spider-Man should be going up there next to all my other Spider-Man. I just don't know where. Maybe I get rid of that Mickey Mouse and put it right next to those Spider-Man right there. I think that's a pretty good idea actually. I'm gonna get rid of that Mickey, put it back in the box and put that uh, this Spider-Man box, Spider-Man pop, not box. 
out of box and put it up there. That's gonna look good actually. I'm gonna do that in just a second. But for the rest of these, I don't know where I'm gonna put them just yet. I have to figure out a spot for them. They might they might just end up in a um, bin. Not that Amumu though. That Amumu is going next to my gaming setup. I love League of Legends, but I hate it at the same time. It's a love-hate relationship. But for the rest of these, I like these pops a lot and I don't wanna get rid of them. So I don't, I don't really know what to do for this. I might just get another shelf. I really wanna get another shelf. I can't do it. I don't have enough space for another shelf. I can't buy another shelf. I really want one, but I can't, I can't do it. All right, so I got the two pops right there. I think it looks great right there next to my other inbox Rick and Morty pops that I have over here. But I did have to move these two pops right here, which is Joyce and Biohazard suit and i love them with egos out of the shelf i don't know where i'm gonna put them i also got rid of that mickey mouse up there and i put the uh tom holland spider-man up there but i one one thing i, I noticed this mickey mouse is so badly damaged oh my goodness this is why it was out of box all those random inbox pops i had are just going in my closet i keep all my uh six inch and oversized pops in here just because they're kind of big and i don't really have a proper display for them but yeah i just decided to put these in here for now because i don't have a proper display for them but if i ever do get another shelf these are for sure going to go on there uh but for now i'm pretty happy with uh having these in here not happy just let's let's say like let's say uh let's say settled for because i'm not happy that i have these in here i want to have them on display but this is what i have to do for now until i get another display i can always just swap them out for other pops if i want to see them but uh yeah for now these are going to stay in here all right, I'm back another day and I got two new Pokemon Pops to add to my Pokemon collection. But the only difference is that there's not enough space on this shelf for more Pokemon Pops. So I think I'm gonna have to get rid of either two Batman Pops or two Harry Potter Pops or two Walking Dead Pops. Probably Walking Dead. And I'm looking at him right there. He's, he's turned away from me because he knows I'm gonna get rid of him. Richard, you're gone, buddy. It's, it's time. Richard and who else don't I like? I like the rest of these. They're all pretty cool. I think I'm gonna get rid of Richard and Rosita because Rosita's not there. She's broken. She's been broken for a while. So Richard, Rosita, gotta go. And then, uh, by me doing that, I can move everything down and I'll have more space for two new Pokemon Pops. Awesome. And if you're wondering what the two Pops are that I'm talking about, it's this Charizard Pop right here and this Horsey Pop. Got both these Pops at Toronto Comic Con and uh, yeah, I need to figure out space for them on this shelf right here. And just like that, we got it done. I see, it, it took me a while, like 15 minutes. It, too much work. But these Pops are on the shelf now and they look good. But yeah, everything on the shelf is about the same except for those two Pops right there, obviously. And I got rid of Richard and Rosita. They just ended up in the closet with uh, the rest of those Pops that uh, I put in there earlier. Yeah, they're gonna stay in there. But uh, yeah, this looks pretty good now let me know how you guys think about the remodeling i didn't really change much i just added a few pops into the collection and i that, that's pretty much all i did i just put some pops into the collection that's all i did do a lot of dusting i did dust all my pops i just didn't show that in the video because who really cares about dusting that would make for the most boring montages but yeah that sums up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here download one not using the link down below you'll get 15 dollars in the app when you first download it one not's a really awesome app where you can buy sell and auction off pops on go check it out but yeah thank you guys for watching today's video and uh, yeah catch you next time peace Stop doing the green and I'm rocking green is bringing the peace. I'm bumping that pot in the car, pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby.